Ladies and gentlemen, I just watched the new keynote from Apple 2023. And let me tell you, they set the stage like no other company can for AI, for VR, for AR. They just showed us what the future looks like and the coolest tools like nobody could have imagined. Really, really cool stuff. Like, for example, now... You can uh, you can journal on your device, like you write down what, what you're doing. No, 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 listen, listen. It's really cool because you can do it while you're doing it because it's on your phone. That That's cool, right? But uh, I mean, no, wait, wait, wait a second. You can also do stickers from your photos and videos too. Like you're going to be the coolest kid in the retirement home and your nephew is going to be super excited about these photo stickers. Uh, okay, okay. I have something else that's cool. You can remove the background without a green screen. Yeah. And you don't even need Skype for that, even though Skype has done that forever. But okay, no problem. Uh, no, wait, 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 wait. Here's another thing that's really cool. Um, the stuff you normally hear, like voices, you can now read them with your eyes. But, but on the lock screen, on the lock screen, that's the cool thing. It's subtitles, but on the lock screen, like for the voice memos, but I you can read them now. Yeah. Uh, isn't... <laughs> Isn't that cool? <laughs> you can do stickers and journaling. Oh my god! And but but but, I want to say something else. They showed off their new headset. It's called Vision Pro. It's like the VR experience that is amazing, and it can do stuff like, for example, uh, virtual screens. Yeah, you can watch videos on your headset. That's cool, right? Um, and also, I mean, you can play games as limited as they might be on Apple. So five games, maybe? I don't know. They probably have games by the time this comes out. Um, and the good thing is here, they are really nice about the pricing. Like they want everybody to have one of these headsets. I really introduce it to the common populace, everybody out there, right? Don't feel left out by this. Um, because the headset is only, only, it's a really great offer from Apple, $3,499 USD, my friends. Yeah, um, I think you can afford that. Um, I mean, minimum wage is absolutely in the range of that, so don't worry. And the cool thing is for that $3,499 price tag, you can basically do the exact same stuff that you can already do with your $300 Quest 2 and have been able to do for years now. Now, the thing here is, if this is not bought by anybody, what kind of company is going to invest a lot of money to create major games, to create major VR and AR experiences? And we had have this problem for decades now with establishing VR and AR on the market. Now, AR is actually established because you can use it in your phone as a Snapchat filter, as a TikTok filter. So AR is already here because there is a zero dollar entry fee. It costs you nothing to use AR on your phone. Now VR is still almost non-existent. There is some games out there. Most of them are very, very limited experiences. Now, in recent years, some companies have invested a little bit more. Sometimes they readjust their old franchises, like, for example, Skyrim in a VR experience. So that high price just means this headset is dead in the water. They had Disney Plus come onto the stage and they showed some cool stuff. But none of them, not a single one of that, was a finished, definite product. They were all just ideas and sketches. And they even said it's going to be announced what they're actually going to do with Disney+. Plus, Which basically means not really much. Because there is just nobody who is using it. Because nobody can afford that headset. I'm really confused why Apple didn't say, hey... 
we have a plan this is how much it costs let's say fifty dollars per month and you can use our headset order it now and you have it as soon as it comes out but i'm sure at the same time they showed off cool stuff a lot of people are going to be aware about the abilities of these headsets and this will really kick it off for the quest 2 and the soon to be announced quest 3 so actually even though they kind of kicked their own butt with their pricing they kind of also opened up the door for other headsets out there to be more established on the market so actually we should thank apple let me know what you think in the comments thanks for watching and see you soon bye oh you're still here so uh this is the end screen there's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool and yeah i hope i see you soon uh leave a like if you haven't yet and well um yeah